In 2006, I traveled to Kenya together with a good friend, Gerard, who was familiar with the area and who introduced me to the local Samburu community. The Samburu are related to the Maasai, who live a bit more southern in Kenya and Tanzania. It was overwhelming to witness the traditional rituals and songs performed by hundreds of warriors and the colorful dresses of the women on circumcision day. An intense experience, especially for Laraya, 13 years at the time, after he had preparing for this day for years. The circumcision ritual is perhaps the most important day in the life of a Samburu. It's a generation shift where children become warriors, warriors become young elders and young elders become elders. Usually, the event takes place every 10 years. In 2006, Laraya was one of the youngest. During the actual circumcision, the boys are not allowed to show any emotion, not even blink and certainly not cry, however painful it might be. That's why an unrelated person is often asked to support the child. I was asked to take care of Laraya, the son of one of the Samburu chiefs. If you accept the task, you become a sort of a surrogate father for the young boy. After the circumcision, blood is tapped from a cow and mixed with milk in a calabas. The drink will be the most important diet for recovery after the operation. Ten years later, Laraya is 24 and graduated as a community health worker. While he was looking for work, he was offered a temporary job as a salesman in a wine shop. He now has a steady income and is able to rent a small apartment in Aivasha. Laraya, man, you look smart. You look thank smart, you. hey. How are you? I'm oh, fine, thank you. Good to see you. Good, Good to see you. See you. We're on our way to the most northern part of Kenya. We just passed the town of Isiolo and straight ahead of us begins a brand new highway of 250 miles up to the border of Ethiopia. The parents of Laraya live somewhere halfway and that's where we're heading to. How do we get there? We go that way or that way? This way. The area where Laraya's parents set up their manyata is unspoiled, remote and wild Africa. During the drive, Loraya treats me in a very respectful manner, to that extent that it made me feel uncomfortable at times. I call you dad because in my lifetime you played a big role that you stood for me and uh, you supported all my education, what I give credit, and that's wonderful. I could not have been to this point. <laughs> Every time I visit the area, I'm welcomed as a family member by the community. If you come to my house right now, you have the same right just like my father. Yeah. <laughs> Laraya's mother and father lived the same way their ancestors did. A stark contrast with Laraya's current way of living. Sometimes I wonder if I did him a favor supporting him and guiding him to the modern world. What I feel right now is that education has been so important to me and so useful to me that I can manage to balance in between the culture and uh, my growth, the education, the knowledge, it's going to help my family because even right now they will really feel it. You maybe took a child to school, he got a job, he can settle deals for you, you can have free food. So it's like they are benefiting because they don't now depend on this cows directly. It's like they have an alternative. <laughs> it's uh, snow in Belgium. I get them part of the, the Belgium. It's a woo! You get the road, I'm going to go on. 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 I'm going
understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I work a lot with the Bushmen, I told you. Oh, yeah, uh, I remember, yeah, yeah, I remember. And uh, they make things like this. Yes. Yes. I took a bracelet for you. Oh. So for me, it's a nice link between Kenya and South and Africa. South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. What would you do if your father would ask you to come back and live with him and raise cattle? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. What I could do because for me now, I'm still a Samburu child and when you call me to come and do that, it doesn't take long for me to pick because it is what is in me, it's the would first Would you do time. it? Would you enjoy it? To myself, I will choose a business in the city right now because I went now through another life, another new process that could bring a change from where I was to where I am at the moment. And for me to come back from there and do what my people are doing is like, what, why did I go to school now? My future is here. I must go to Naifasha, keep working, get money. It's just temporary for me to get what I want, to come and introduce the same in my homeland. But first... We go back to Naivasha. <laughs> yeah. We must go back to Naivasha. Yeah.